is in this video I will just let you know about what type of architecture your processor is running means whether it is um, a 32 bit or a 64 bit architecture uh, and especially Windows XP but I'm using uh, Windows 7 OS so uh, I will tell you some ways that means like um, you can do it on Windows XP also so in Windows 7 obviously it's very easy to check where, which architecture you're using which version of it so you just uh, right click in the, my computer and just go to my properties and in this panel you will see under system the processor is your my processor is Core i3 Intel and the system type this is the main thing that I'm talking about is 64 bit operating system um, so in this case if you go like this the way I've just shown you in here in Windows XP it might not work means you might not get the uh, proper architecture bit of the operating system uh, because the interface is quite different with respect to Windows 7 or 8 because Windows XP is the only, the only version of that so uh, there are two ways in which you can see this um, in the search and Windows XP I'm talking about uh, in the search you just uh, type uh, system information okay it's already showing up here system information just click in here <coughs> and uh, in this um, panel in this UI you can see uh, there is a processor there is system type so in the system type alongside there is a value called x64 based PC okay so if my computer was 32 bit it wouldn't show this x32 based PC it would have shown x86 based PC 86 actually um, corresponds to 32 bit because um, the Intel at the first time um, the processor came with a name called 386 so um, uh, from that the value came 86 or something like that okay this is a one way of seeing that and with the XP or you can just uh, go in the run with the key windows and an R and you can type CMD your I saw already type in your and go to OK so and go to the system directory and my case is C and uh, so go to the root directory out here I'm going one step back to the root directory okay with the option CD dot dot uh, command anyway so in the C a directory you just type m and this is in four thirty two sorry thirty two dot e x e you just type in that and you hit enter so okay it just linked to the same page that I've shown you in the shortcut method so with the command prompt also you can see this anyways um so hope you guys like it and it's uh, I can share you a bit of information about 32 and 64 bit architecture. If you like it, then obviously hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.